everybody, how are you going? It's a bloody beautiful, cool morning. Water is almost like glass, and me and my old mate, the pig. Addy. Heading out. See if we can get some crabs and see if we can get some fish. And maybe crack a few tins. That's definitely gonna happen. This is bloody glorious, hey, I Love it, mate. Check this out. So I know absolutely nothing about crabbing. So I'm going to have to take your word for it that we might get something. I know absolutely nothing about crabbing too, <laughs> except they're in the water and they go in the pot sometimes. Sometimes. you got to put the pot in the water and then cross your fingers and sometimes you catch crab. And you don't even have to shave afterwards. No. Nah. Nah. Beautiful. Nah. No cream, all right, but necessary. <laughs> all right, what are we in? We are in 5.2 metres of water here. Deep. I would not normally put a pod here, that's why we're going to put a pod here. Alright. Well, there's like grassy bank here, bugger all mangroves and a big sand cliff up there. Right now. Bombs away! It doesn't look too crabby. I can get a bit crabby if you like. I'll save that for later when we don't catch anything, eh? All right, so what are we doing with this one, man? Mate, we're gonna go to a spot where there should be, where I would assume there is no mud crabs and hope there is mud crabs. If you look here, that's all just grass. There's no mangroves here. Doesn't even look very muddy. It's only 2.4 meters, so it'll go high and dry. So we'll go out a little bit, get some depth and then more bombs away. Yeah. Yep, that's deep enough. That's four and a half metres. Bombs right. away, bombs mate. Bombs away. Should be right. All right, well, let's see how that goes. You might catch a koala. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Water koala. Water koala. They taste good too. Yeah, nice and salty. Yeah. Look at that, we got a croc trap. So tell me, what's the what's the deal with these with these croc traps, man? Uh, whenever they get reports of problem crocodiles, they'll put a trap in and try and catch it, relocate it. The door's up on that one, so there's no croc in there. Right, let's have a look. There's probably a rule about not getting too close, Tom. So we'll just yeah. hang out wide. But yeah, there must be a. Decent size follow around for them to bother putting that in. Big trap. Yeah. That'd be, that's, that's longer than this boat. Yeah, that'd be probably five and a half, six meter long. Yeah. Hmm. Bit of a peg leg in there. So if we can't find a croc, probably can't. Right there. Still got his head out. I can't, oh yeah, I can see him. Just cruising along. He's fully out of the water, so he's showing that he's not scared. Being dominant. Just start to go under. His head's still out. There he just, goes. Just went on. under. Oh, you seen one, man, eh? Yeah. First one in the wild. I'm pretty happy about that. Awesome, eh? Yeah. This is why they say never get out of the boat. Nope. How big? He would have been three. Three and a half. Oh, easily. Yeah. Oh, oh. a closer look would have been good, but that's the first one I've seen in the wild. So. Mission accomplished. So what do you reckon, mate? Do you reckon that might be the one they're trying to catch? Yeah, 100% mate. He'd be the big dominant croc in the area. He's big enough. Yeah. I'd say that's who the trap's for. They're about a K in the wrong direction with their trap. Yeah. Not, yep. too, not too far away. How far do they travel? Oh, a long way. Yeah. Yeah. But the big, big dominant male, he'll sort of stick to a general area. Yeah. So he likes the mouth, obviously. Yeah. No, uh, that's cool. He'll be back. We'll probably see him on the way back. Yep. 
Well, I'm excited. I've, I've never seen one in the wild before, so that's uh, that's a first for me. And the croc again. Pop up, he's just cruising along the edge. So I've turned the outboard off, put the electric down. Just see if we can have a little look at him. He's turned around. He's just sitting in that little gutter over there. Straight ahead of us. Yep. Is that a little croc swimming right in front of us? Yep, just went under. Oh, I missed it. Fuck me, dude. It's only a baby. Yeah? Yeah, uh, its head was about that wide. Oh, okay. Literally just there it was. Straight out there. Yep. Let's see if I can zoom in on, on him. He's a big boy. Oh, yeah. I think he's more like four metres, mate. Yeah. Absolutely. Nice one. Sneak in a little bit closer so better I can get some footage. Nice healthy crop that one. Very nice. Absolutely, I'm I'm stoked. Pity the GoPro doesn't want to work. Got to do it with the phone, but I'm still happy. Look at the size of that one. Ain't big, any? Oh, I should zoom out a bit. Big boy. I reckon that'd go three and a half. We're actually surprisingly close to this guy. Yes! <laughs> so, did you got them encoded in? We're all ready. What are we doing here? Mate, we've got probably 15 minutes to spare before we got to grab these pots and escape this tide. So, yeah, otherwise, we're going to get stuck. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's too many crocs in this creek to be walking around. That big one, that's got to be pushing four. Yeah, 100%. And this is where we're going to have a little fish here. A little yeah, snag. You never know, you might drag a jack in there. We may not be catching much in fish, but it's better than a day at work. Still a glorious day. Well, the water's still like glass, even though it's running. Time to get some pots in. Let's see if we can get something. All right, let's see. Should you put crab pots here? Probably not. <laughs> I reckon it's a firm no. Here we go. Oh no, we've got one. We do. Oh, it's a fucking good one too. Oh, we've got two. Get him up on the deck. That is one big Jenny. What's it like? Reasonable size. Go close. One claw. Ah, just under. Just under, yeah. Yeah. Now uh, we'll tuck in back. Yeah. But there is crabs. There is crabs. That's probably the crabbiest spot of all the spots we put them in, but yeah, yeah, I agree. Yep. It's a fucking huge gym. Okay, 
destination number two. Predictions? Um, no idea. One crab. One crab? Oh, we yeah, are fuck all. This is the sandy mud bank. Oh, got him. Got him. Love how people just cruise past your boat doing stupid knot. Yeah. Well, how come he didn't wave at me? Because you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> what do you reckon, mate? Fuck I'll all. I reckon fuck all. And I'd be on the money. He would be on the money, zero. Zip. Right. Silch. Nada. Okay, this, no good. No good. Don't work. Nah. Right, hey, let's try the old koala pot. The koala pot? Yeah, under the gum tree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's that song? Sing me home amongst the gum trees. Yeah, something like With that. Lots of plum trees. Yeah. I don't, I don't see me fucking plum trees out here. Nah. It's not holding a lot of hope for this pot. If I go for zero, I'm always on a fucking winner. On your prediction, but not on putting some food in the boiler. No, but... At least you look good. At least I look good. <laughs> and if we do get something, Happy then to it's be a wrong. win again. Yeah, true. A nice surprise. Come on, baby. God. I don't know how they, those dudes in the US wrestle alligators online like this. Nah. How did that happen? A couple of bucks too. And they'll be, they'll very, measure. Very close. Yeah. Very close. All right. But that's see. amazing. Right. Okay. I'm astounded. Gum trees, bit of a mud bank, no mangroves until a little patch there, little patch there. Didn't see that coming. No. Measure, mate. Shop size because this is your job. Yeah, righty, eh? Lucky mud guts is a stable boat, mate. Otherwise, I've been swimming with that croc. Not recommend doing that. No, it's not. Not on my bucket list. So we just get one to come out of the side. Oh, he's a feisty bugger, isn't he? Don't bite the croc. <laughs> okay, there's our buckaroo. Not legal. Not legal? Oh, damn. About two or three mil short. Oh, well, you're lucky. I think the other one's smaller. Smaller. Not even going to try and no. wrangle him, I'll just dump him. Yep. Bye. Right, hey, lucky last. Big old bank. Prediction? Oh, oh, three. I got, I got no three. idea. Could be nothing. Could be a bag out. No, <laughs> I highly doubt that. <laughs> One, two, two, three, three. I don't believe that there's any. Um, that one on top's too small. Uh, he's the closest one. That's a Jenny. Yeah. And that another one. one's a Jenny too. Yeah. Well, there you go. Another three. Well, there are crabs here. Yep. And that's what we're working with. Just a grassy bank. So, doesn't really matter where you put your pots, you could catch crabs. Pretty surprised, actually. Same. It's a big jenny. If we lived in the territory, that'd be dinner. Oh, yeah. Same with that other big girl we got. Oh, 
That would have been dinner for two people, that one. Yeah. Yeah, saying that, it was like five degrees this morning, so the weather is definitely getting colder. So that doesn't help with the muddies. They like the warmer weather. But they're still around. Like, if you worked hard enough, we only put four pots in. So, you know, three hours soak. We're not trying too hard. But something to do. I mean, then I hadn't seen a croc before. We definitely ticked that yep. off the list. That was a win. In my book. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Just put your pots in the water. Crabs are in there. That's all you need. Mullet heads from the survey. Don't need any fancy bait. If you want to spice it up, chuck a garlic clove in there. I found that to help. But um, yeah, that's it. Love yous and leave yous. We better get out of here before the tide disappears and we're going to push the boat back. <laughs> yeah, that could be not fun for you. Yeah, nah. So right, eh? thanks for watching. Best thing you can do is give it a thumbs up. Cost you nothing, really helps us out. Like and, that, like that. Yep, the old thumbs up button. We actually caught some crabs, but <laughs> biggest crocodile I've ever seen in the wild, and the only crocodile I've ever seen in the wild, it was a monster. What do you reckon? Four meters, three and a half to four meters? Very close to four. Very. Yeah. Would have been pushing four meters. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> We're done because the tide's going out. We don't want to be pushing the boat out of the sand. So catch us later. Have a great day. Bye. Crocs are hungrier than the um, than the crabs. Yeah. <laughs> Crocs had a go at this bloody float.